The white wine from Alsace keep you young. <laughs> I got that. Santé. Santé, monsieur. So we arrived right now at our winemaker. Uh, unfortunately, I can't show you my car because, well, there's all the credentials on it and everything. What, uh, yeah, it, I, I wouldn't like that. So actually, we started already with the wine tasting and uh, we already tasted like three, four wines. And then there's, oh shit, this is, oh shit. See, I, we tasted already and I was going into the wrong door. And uh, yeah, um, he's a nice guy. I think his name was Phil. And um, yeah, there's already two um, girls from Netherlands. They also had a couple of glasses though. And yeah, we will keep on with this wine tasting right now and we'll see. See, this is the, this is the, the drunken round. See, is it alright for you guys to be on tape as well? Oh. Is it fine? All right. Two hundred bucks. So, two hundred. Yeah. Well, I. Yeah, we're uh, uh, you, yeah, you can subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Deal. So, um, introduce yourself. What's what's what, what was your name? Gilles. Gilles. Gilles, Gilles Schöpfer, and he's doing this in the sixteenth sixteenth uh, generation already. No. Which is the 13th, I'm sorry. It's like the 13th uh, generation already, and it's like from 1656. Yeah. Exactly. So, this is um, outstanding. So, um, and you already uh, poured a new wine into my glass. It's, it's uh, Riesling. Oh, Riesling, that's where I'm from, and I'm pretty much looking forward to this. So, cheerio. Cheerio. Santé. Santé. Excusez moi. Moi. Yeah, we have sliders. Yeah. Yeah. And how do you like it? I like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cool. Um, I didn't want to spoil your um, spoil your wine tasting with oh, this. No, 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 no. What's what, What's your names? Janneke. Janneke and. Rione. 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 Rione, like. Rihanna, but then yeah. Rihanna. Rihanna. Uh, that's Marina. Marina and <laughs> ich, ich bin Daniel. Daniel. Yeah, pretty nice much. To yeah, <laughs> nice to meet you guys too. So you're hailing from Netherlands, right? Yeah. And you're on the way with a camper van or what? Or? Oh no, just with the car. Ah, okay. Now we're by bike, by school. Ah, okay. Yeah. Because, because, yeah, I, I also thought um, you guys are um, checking in here with your camper van. Because we, are, we, we were checking in, uh, there's like an app, like park for night and we are, I'm, I'm, I built my camper van. I mean, it's a, my working van, but I just put, you know, a place to sleep in there and um, mm -hmm. that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, it's, it's a place, yeah, it's like, I mean, there's a working bench and everything. Improvised. Yes, very much improvised though. Um, so, and he is like offering um, uh, camping camping uh, places oh, wow. and they are for free. Uh, so I will also link this. Um, uh, it's, pretty, it's a pretty good deal here actually. Make a wine tasting and uh, can park for free even on a um, guard, I mean, almost guarded parking lot. Yeah, so and... So uh, there. We're staying in there, yes. Oh, um, it's uh, probably during this temperature, maybe like a um, uh, like an oven, like a baking oven. Yeah, probably, uh, yeah. uh, probably yes. <laughs> but but this evening will be so. more fresh. Really, yes. What? Stop. What did you say? This evening will be more fresh. Ah, right. So and so and, and you you're gonna stay in a tent. Yeah. Yeah. Is there like, like a, camping, a, a? Ah, okay. Camp. Okay. So it's got... a really big tent. Ah, all right. It's already set up. Okay. Uh, we didn't bring our own Actually, mm -hmm. maybe you can go with them because she's um, um she's <laughs> what I will she's, do? she's like crying crying at me like oh I want to sleep in a tent I want to sleep in a tent and I hate I hate camping in a tent because wow. when the when the mo because when the moisture is coming to your to your um uh, to your to your um, linen to your to yeah. your sheet. Whoa, that's so disgusting. Oh, and you only wake up and like the, all the all the fog. Just normal beds, you know, normal beds in a really big tent. There's ah, beds in the okay. Tent. So you have they have a very big tent, but so have yeah. so so kind of such so, such kind of field beds or what? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, that you're yeah. high above the ground. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, that maybe works for me, but like... You're, like, we like, have like gas and we can just... Yeah, we have uh, like scrambled eggs in the and morning. a fridge. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and wine actually, yeah, we also do that. I, I make um, a buckwheat pancakes, fresh uh, fresh yeah. from my mill. I mill, milled it fresh at home. And uh, yeah, I also do 
Crap. Ja, jetzt Crap war, aber das ist too thick for Crap, to be honest. Pancakes. Ja, it's pancakes with blueberries. Or yeah. Eierkühe. Oh. What is? Eierkühe. Eierkühe. Eierkuchen. Eierkuchen. Yeah, it's like yeah. Uh, he he actually he speaks German as well. So. And Alsatian. And Alsatian, yes. With the huh? roots of the German language. Oh, really? Oh, that looks very good. Oh my God! Can you see that? <laughs> you, this take, but this takes a pretty long time because it's built, right? We yeah, don't have ours, we just rent this. Ah, <laughs> all right, all right. It's set up. I thought yeah. they they are just on the on the on the run. Ah, right. Yeah. I get this. So you're in your car actually, and you rent yeah. Airbnbs and stuff like, or or you just particular wanted to. Um, no, just to stand at that that campaign. Ah, right. So you're and staying here for a certain for couple of nights. nights. Yeah. Ah, right. Now I, I just only for the wine. Only if I actually yeah, that's that's, that's, a, that's yeah. it came to him like oh yeah we're only here we for the wine yeah. for the wine <laughs> I got you <laughs> all right um, yeah nice to meet you guys I would say cheers to that yeah, cheers. Cheers. cheerio oh he has to has to pour yeah, a little bit of his own your your best customer is he yeah. <laughs> all right cheers, guys. cheers oh 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 <laughs> you can never drink without <laughs> cheers. cheers all right. Mm. So this was the Riesling, right? One of the Riesling, yeah. Now that's a Riesling 2015 Eterofit. And I think uh, it will be too old for me already. It, it has this fearness, you know what I mean? Just taste it. Yeah. I, I will taste it, but you know what I want to say? This, yeah, this fear, the fear best is to taste and to talk after. Which one was this? That you had? Yeah. Ah, this one. Yeah. It's quite interesting though. Yeah. But it has this fear, this aftertaste. It's still the mineral of all, taste. Yeah. No, I mean it's fire. It's fire um, this oldish taste. I mean yeah. of a, of a wine yeah. which is older than uh, let's say like three or like four or five years. I think. I mean you're the winemaker, but this fern, we t we call it in German fern tastes fern, and this is like fire, a, fire stone. We call it. Oh, yeah. But I, you know what I exactly want to say right now. I think this aftertaste, I, I feel this right now. So you don't like this one? Actually, I like it. That's what I mean with interesting. I like, to be honest, um, the fact that um, in, when you have it in front, like in, in your mouth, it, it's interesting because it's already five years old. It's like, hmm, wow, it tastes actually pretty fresh. But then in the aftertaste you get this film and then it's done for me because then I have the aftertaste like Nye. but you seem to like his um, I like almost everything but actually to be, to be honest um, uh, 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 she's definitely much more into white wine uh, than she, she absolutely don't like red wine but I like red wine and I like particular French red wine and I think you have red wine Dus, uh, welke willen we nu dan sowieso en dan de kruidel? It's, it's really interesting and I mean it. Actually, you can lose your bicycle with uh, your driver's license with your bicycle. I mean, is it the same in France? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, of course. If you have more than, it's the same like in yeah, Germany. Yeah, if you do anything, it's alright. This is if okay. You, yeah. You are driving like that. Or but from yeah. Holland, we don't have to But but to, but to be honest, in Germany, they they screw you over with that. I mean, really. I mean, he he said it right. Actually, if you um, driving the 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 the, the snake uh, yeah. lines whatever then uh, they will get you but uh, i i know friends they actually lost their driver's really? license because yeah because they, they were like really really drunk right no i mean they were really drunk but they didn't drove uh, like a, a snake lines because they're really trained drunk yards yeah. so uh, um, i've never uh, heard of it yeah, really, happening in the netherlands it's like well, Netherlands yeah, is more. It's 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 it's. I would say more more liberal, um, more liberal than Germany is. I mean, yeah, yeah. Weed, weed legalized. I mean, it's not legalized. It's tolerated. Yes, uh, but um, it's uh, yeah. anyway. It's zero point five here in France as well. And if you have, I mean, I don't know how many wine he uh, gave you already. Yeah. You, you, you taste, taste it already uh, yeah. today. Uh, three wines. Three wine. Yeah. Yeah, so. Small ones. Yeah. So to have yeah. 0.5, you have to have two and a half glass. So I don't think they have no. one, 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 a little bit more than one. Well, 
whatever so, whatever it is um we'll just ta we'll just take care See, it's, <laughs> it's, it's already we'll starting yeah. we'll it's, it's already yeah. starting <laughs> We All right. Drive a bike as well. mm. Of course, you're from the Netherlands. Yeah. Um, if if somebody knows how to ride a bike, then it's probably you. Yeah. It's all like French, yeah, with the Tour de France. Mm. Mm. And Belgium. Oh, really? With good, but the Belgian people rather of a bicycle that are mm. quite good. Better than the Netherlands. All right. Yeah. Mm. Oh, cool. So you want to have a clash of the titans here, yeah. or what? Mm. Nice. So next right. one, Pinot Gris. Uh, Pinot what? Pinot Gris, Grau Burgunder. Ah, yeah, that's, 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 that's good for me because I like Grau Burgunder. Merci. So you choose something? Yeah, and then tomorrow we come back with the car to uh, get okay. that. And, um, All right, ni nice to meet you guys. <laughs> and uh, have a safe, safe ride. And better, be and better tell nobody where you were when you got caught by the gendarmerie. Okay. Bye bye. That's a trockene Gewürztamina. So a dried Gewürztamina. Yeah. That's already different. Yeah, that's that's the point with the gibberish. I mean, you can have plenty different kind of uh, smell mm -hmm. on the fruity side, of the gibberish side, of the spicy side, of mm -hmm. the flower side. So different kind. Mm -hmm. And what do you add to get this? Uh, it's not we, we taste add anything. Or? It's natural. Uh huh. And we use only natural yeast, so mm -hmm. from the, from the skin, from the berries. No, no selected yeast, only natural yeast. So okay. they, depends also the year, because we always tell, talk about the terroir. It's right, the terroir. It's uh, a piece of the wine, but uh, yeast are also very important mm -hmm. because that change the the uh, sweetness or the sugar in wine in alcohol. So mm -hmm. depends which one is working today, at the year. But do you keep it longer or in special barrels that it has this spicy taste? No, it's, or... it's a read the variety grapes will give the, ah, uh, the okay, taste of the wine. Okay, I see. No. Mm. Mm. We taste another Gilles Tremino, no, a Grand Cru. No. <laughs> <laughs> you want to... <laughs> yeah, that's uh, for special for you. <laughs> ah, see, I should work with this camera much more open, <laughs> often. See, all right, I'm good. So that's a Gewürz Terminal Grand Cru Hengst 2015. Mm -hmm. So that's a special land, a special field, mm -hmm. who is always so so seized. So the best uh, way to the sun. It's a low uh, quantity, low uh, grapes. So it's more powerful, more body in the wine. It's less also. Uh, Sugar, it's quite high in alcohol, it's 40 grand, 40 grand. Really? 14? Yeah. This is quite um, interesting here because you're serving um, much more, I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm drinking young wines most mm -hmm. of the time. They're not older than a year or maybe, maybe two years. Mm -hmm. It's pretty interesting that like, like three, four, five years wine. But, uh, but yes, it's uh, always, most always the case, minimum two years before we sell the wine. And for the Grand Cru, it's minimum four years. Otherwise, we don't sell it because it, the wine is not ready to drink. Mm -hmm. You have a huge variety of wine, I have mm -hmm. to say. I mean, that's a, that's a huge um, pence of work, I have to say. I mean, yeah. you're working what? I And mean, we don't sell one wine, the vintage. When the vintage is finished, we start the other one. Mm -hmm. Not two vintage from the same wine. In the same time, otherwise it's oh, just okay. Uh, But you got a, got a lot of work to do actually during the harvest time, right? I yeah. mean, if you have, I mean, you have so many different stuff, exactly. and, and, and mm -hmm. so how many people do you work with? Uh, in the in the harvest time, 12 people, but it's during three weeks, yeah, three, of course. three yeah, and a half yeah. weeks, mm -hmm. because each wine is ripe at another time. Yeah, so sure. We need more more people. 
Okay, uh, but but in the, but but your core it's like a family uh, like a family um, business or yeah uh, for the harvest no it's uh, no no I mean like your business it's yeah it's only with yeah. my father uh, now he's retired but uh, my brother and me yeah. oh wow so you do it like with three actually or like two persons right now yeah. really mm -hmm. to do everything yeah that's uh... so we work sixteen months per year <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Well, um, so that's now Riesling Grand Cru Hengst 2014. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Santé, santé. Santé. And when it opens on the tongue, is there kind of honey coming? Mm -hmm. I, I Because think... it's also very ripe. That's why you have a little bit sweetness because uh, it was almost late harvest at the beginning. Yes. So it's a little bit sweet, but the acidity is very, at the end, very thin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very small. Of a small I like it. Thin. By the way, that's um, for me also interesting, or for us, or for the viewers. Um, Uh, how do you manage right now to because for me as a as a um, of course as a freelancer I'm also mm -hmm. a businessman um, the corona crisis hit me a little bit how how it was for you how how was the was first very bad, yeah. uh, three months so yeah also in March for March, you right March yeah. April and May until 20th of May was nobody here so no business or almost nothing yeah and since uh, The 15th of June, it's quite quite good now. Okay, so you have some tourists, but... Yeah, it's not so much that normal, but uh, the tourists are quite interesting about the wine. Mm -hmm. So it's not just tourists who just see the, the houses or do a, a trek or whatever, but they are interesting about the food and the, and the wine. Is it, is, it, is it just me or, or is it really like, um, it seems like on the street there are not much Germans or so. It's pretty, I almost no. 90%, al almost only see French cars. Is it yeah. right? Or? No, it's a, actually it's a lot of German. Really? Yeah. But we, yeah. We, we, we don't see that much German cars uh, on the street. No, no, it's really a lot of German. Okay. Normally they come more in end of September or beginning of October for the harvest. They like the, the harvest season, but normally at this time they are more in Mallorca or in Spain. Or <laughs> oh my God, in Mallorca and like without a mask, you saw that, that oh, everything got closed because German and English tourists, they got uh, party like a heart and now everything is closed again in Mallorca. So it's completely ghost town again. Yeah. They screwed it in only one week. Yeah. Incredible. Uh, well, with this um, variety of wine, I'm pretty sure you will survive uh, the next, I don't know, the next 200, 300, I don't know how many, how many years you, you got son or like, or yes, like uh, one, kids. One. See, there's already the next generation. Yeah, it's like, I don't it's, so we never know. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, well, I hope so. I mean, of course kids, well, if they want to do something else, I can understand that, mm -hmm. but would be nice. I mean, like in the 13th generation already, mm -hmm. that's, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I, we, We were in Ireland and there was a shepherd lady who was in the sixth, sixth no, in the eighth, in the eighth generation. Yeah. But you are right now on, on tape for, for now, it's the oldest generation I, I have on tape right now. Because the, the, white, the white wine from Alsace keeps you young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I got that. Santé. Santé, monsieur. I, I probably would say this, this, this goes well with the... I'm, I'm, I'm leaning to a, a little bit too far out of the window, maybe, but maybe for a dessert or so? Yeah, duck liver or... Yeah, the duck liver. That, that's, pretty, that's pretty French. I mean, yeah. in German, nobody would, would um, um, suggest, hmm, maybe duck liver or so. But yeah, but, but um, you wouldn't say a dessert or so. But what's the first no, thing? If you like uh, wheel, creamy sauce, pasta, mushrooms... Mm -hmm. That's really nice. Yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. He's yeah. He's uh, everything yeah. with creamy sauce or butter sauce, uh, like uh, uh, in a sander with a fish sander mm -hmm. with yeah. uh, butter and pasta. That's really nice. With I never saw uh, Cremant in Germany actually. Is no, the, because uh, you call it. Uh, you mean Cremant from Alsace? Mm, or Cremant in German Cremant? Yeah, Cremant in German. No, because Cremant. you call it everything set. 
Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Why. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but uh, but what's I the difference? Seen... What's the difference between that? Uh, Z you can do uh, a, lot. a sparkling wine. Yeah. Yeah, it's sparkling wine. It you can add some CO two. Okay. In a tank, so yeah. like a Coca Cola, I mean. And d- but during, yeah. the second fermentation in the bottle is not so many uh, winery in Germany who do that. Yeah. Some few just there on the side of the the, the Rhine, so the Kaiserstuhl. Yeah. They made some the same making process. It's the same the making process from the Champagne. Oh, okay, I got that. So for 15 years ago, we could. Uh, right on the label, Métaux Champenoise, but not anymore mm. because Champenoise is Champagne in, so they prefer that we call Métaux Traditionnel with the second second fermentation. In okay, the mm. I got that. Now, how long are you doing this now? Since when? When was your education like as an as a winemaker? Oh, uh, it's 25 years that I make wine, but. Mm. Uh, I study wine uh, since uh, 15 years old, so four like. years in the wine making mm-hmm. and two years in uh, wow. commercial wine and spirits. Okay, cool. So was it your first choice or this is what your parents did? <laughs> no, he's, he's, he, he's smiling <laughs> already. I was a bad boy at school, so I didn't have the choice. No. <laughs> so uh, I chose that. I choose that. Yeah. But do, do you still love what you do, or yeah, do, yeah. do you sometimes no, yeah. sometimes yeah. regret it? Uh, sometimes it's quite hard. It's not the hard work like uh, the, work, the hard work. It's the work, but it's paperwork. It's more yeah. and more, so it's yeah. shitty work. Yeah, <laughs> welcome. So yeah, uh, yeah, everywhere, and that's just stupid. No, maybe that will be changing with the COVID. I still hope, um, guys, if you're here in the area, pass by at Jean-Louis uh, Schöpfe, which was his daddy, or, or your granddad, was it? My father. Yeah, it was his dad. And um, yeah, and uh, try some nice red wine and white wine. I mean, I already, by the way, I smelled already uh, on the side on this one. This was pretty nice. Is this kind of sherry thing or what? No, no. it's more vanilla, more. When, oh. when you have the, the barrels to get more power or not, You burn it inside. Yeah, of course, yeah. Okay, so that's a small burn. So you don't have the coffee taste or the or the chocolate taste. It's more on the vanilla so, uh, taste, you know. It's just because it just burn a little bit. Yeah, the vanilla is, but I, 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 right now I get the vanilla behind that. Because in Burgundy they call it, it's more white burning. It's a white barrel for white wines. But I put some red Pinot Noir in, so so it's more softer. Is it white oak? No. Yeah, it's yeah. white oak, but it's burned a little bit, so it's for normally for the, white wines and not for red wines. Because that's what they do with whiskey as well, right? So bourbon. Uh, bur- no, bur- the whiskey. Uh, oh, yes and no, but the, for the whiskey they use old barrels for was yeah, like, wine first, and they age it in in barrels. Already used. like for example bourbon is like bourbon only has to be in in, in yeah, fresh bur- oak fresh bur- oak yeah. bourbon it's not uh, whiskey because it's it's corn it's not yeah it's uh, rye uh, yeah. yeah so it's more softer also mm-hmm. but you can taste so an Alsatian whiskey after. well I uh, <laughs> I uh, we, we, uh, you also do your own whiskey it's a friend of mine right? okay and you also do gin as I saw right yeah. now yeah well we gin- do everything in Alsace. Modera, but it's also a friend of yours. Yeah. He, he does both, like gin yeah. and, and whiskey. Yeah, because because I'm I'm also into um, cocktails. I, I mix a lot of cocktails uh, for the last uh, during the Corona lockdown. It start. I start with whiskey some some years, many years ago actually, and right now I'm, I'm I, I became a cocktail chemist or whatever. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, but uh, gin will be also interesting. Um, Jesus Christ! <laughs> uh, uh, it's all right. I, I look for another one. <laughs> So that's on the Bourgogne side, so it's the same by the grapes. But that's yeah. malolactic fermentation in the barrels and two years in the barrels and also every month we call it batonnage. Batonnage it put a stock in the middle of the wall that we have mm-hmm. on the barrels and you turn it to bring the 
the lease in the wine again that mm -hmm. give you more power, more goodness, more body in the wine. But this is a special, uh, so you only have a couple of barrels of this? Or two. Two. Okay. So Very rich, I would say already. When you when you hold your nose and it, it it's it's already like oh, there's it's no comparison to the last one, for example. I think. No, it's the same vintage also. The two bowls, the first one, exactly the same wine, but just aged 16 months mm -hmm. in barrels, and this one not. That's another Pinot Noir, the same vintage, but not the same wine. So then, Sante. Um, Sante yeah. I'm looking forward. I'm tempted. That's good. <laughs> I have to say that's good. Oh, right yeah. now when I'm when I'm swirling around and you said caramel, I was like, hmm, yeah, actually some kind of creme brulee. Creme, yeah, exactly. Creme brulee. Mm. Good. That's a good wine, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Minutes left. 20 minutes left, and mm. how many wine we have left for 20 <laughs> minutes? Mm, we can do the, the sweet wines if you want. No, I'm sweet wine, I'm out. So we yeah. just finish. Yeah. Or if you want to taste a special one. Actually, well, we do I, I don't. Uh, all, just uh, some. Reserve, we didn't taste, but uh, otherwise you can taste the uh, whiskey and the gin. <laughs> I think I'm good um, already. I, I didn't You're expect it. Or what? No, I'm not scared at all. Uh, but uh, I think if I'm uh, if I'm g going for a gin right now or for whiskey, then I'm, I'm I mean I have to walk to the. Yeah, but that's good. Just know. That's good. Uh, well, Walking. yeah, he, he's like, he's a good dealer. I mean, he knows how to sell his drugs. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, but I, I need to finish this first. Sure. And then we need to make a plan, of course, what we get or not. Well, well we definitely get the Cremant for sure. Mm -hmm. So now we have whiskey. And what's the, what's the special? The, uh, That's age... Uh, in barrels was first given Stramina in, ah, okay. so it's age uh, five and a half year, mm -hmm. and uh, it's so our barrel actually, and I give it to him, and he aged the whiskey on it. But it's so okay. everything is made in Alsace. But it's only five years. Yeah. Okay. But he started only for twelve years ago. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, but um, anyway, um, five years, not much, and, um, but we will we'll see how it will be. Slant here. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of alcohol. First. Oh, C3. Yeah. He made some hang on. whiskey with 66. Oh, that, but there's a... Pff, just taste it. A, yeah, yeah, I get just... <laughs> Just beautiful in the mouth. I think there's a lot of vanilla. Very floral. Sugar. I think this creme brulee thing. Very sweet in the end. Mm. But that's the the nose. The nose is not as close as good as the taste. Mm. The nose is very. Is, is too much alcohol. I can't even put my nose in there to. To say like, wow, what's that? Because it's a little bit too warm also. It's uh, 25 degrees. Oh. Yeah, but cold, cold whiskey. No, but 20, 18, 20, that's the best. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Marina tastes schnapps. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking much forward that you taste schnapps mm. right now. Really? For dry, you say, hmm, for dry gin, that's interesting. And now. Ha, ah, that's, that's Russian girls, huh? Mm -hmm. Not even a mm, face, yeah. it's just like, it's normal. Oh, it's normal. No, it's normal, yeah. Dabei. Kusna. Taste of a fur cone. A what? A like fur cone? <laughs> Mm. 
let's try the gin then now. Yeah, it has has this. It ta it smells like a. What? It's working. Okay. <laughs> it's working now. Yeah, he's okay. now he is checking on my camera. No, yeah. here's the display on this yeah, side. Yeah, no, I saw the yeah. Um, it has still this kind of. It smells like a perfume. No. It's it's too much. I think it's 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 it tastes in my mouth right now like I I, I took a perfume and did this. The whiskey on the other hand is interesting, but I think it's, it's just too, too high. In it's, the it's, cold in the, I think in it's the nose. I think it's just too young for some reason. <clears throat> yeah, it's weird, but in when you bottling that doesn't change in the in the bottle so if it's like that's, that yeah. you will that's, that's have that in 2 3 years the that's same. exactly what i what i want to say right now i think if this whiskey has at least the minimum of the 12 year standard range of whiskey has no or like single malt i mean bourbon has the 7 years or whatever 5 blah 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 but if this whiskey at least has this 10, 12, or maybe the last yeah. year in, in an, in an he had, Oloroso. He had some whiskey who is aging, but uh, he started with two barrels. So yeah, of uh, yeah, I know, of course, it's a new, it's a new guy, of course, yeah. yeah. Cost a lot. So. He has, has to wait the next 20 years till he has a nice... Yeah, I think every whiskey maker who starts new has the problem to has kids or whatever who then mm -hmm. harvesting the seeds with daddy. Oh, or he had to to drink uh, shepherd wine because we we keep you young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he I I guess his age right still. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I mean it was oh, but uh, it's forty eight, sixty forty eight. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right, so 